New Mexico has had its share of athletes come to the state to train in its high altitude. Now the altitude has piqued the interest of the U.S. Army with help as well from UNM. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live at UNMH with the story. Annalisa. Well, UNM Health and Sciences at Towski Valley and the U.S. Army are all working together to study altitude sickness. In Towski Valley, a team of soldiers and researchers from the Army and UNM personnel spent most of July 12,000 feet above sea level. They spent three weeks studying mountain sickness when reaching high elevations quickly. What we are trying to figure out is, can we tell who's going to have a hard time with it and who's not? U.S. soldiers flew in from Missouri and were sent up to a spot near Kachina Peak. So they would go from 600 feet to almost 12,000 feet uh, in about six hours, some of them. And that is really, really fast ascent. And is an elevation soldiers could experience when deployed. Some were driven up the mountain, others hiked. The UNM team, which included two doctors and two paramedics, drew the soldiers' blood and tested oxygen levels. Is it better to hike up or is it better just to go up there and be up there right away? And then we can actually measure with a specific number how sick you're actually going to be. They hope the evidence they gather on why some people are more at risk than others for altitude sickness will also help everyone who lives in the mountains or visits them on how to make a safe climb into higher elevations. For the UNM team, it's also a chance to give back. Not all of us can, can serve the same way that our armed forces have, but if we can help out that in any other way, that's a huge win for us as well. The UNM team also taught the soldiers wilderness medicine courses while they were here in New Mexico. Back to you. All right, thank you, Annalisa. That research project was supposed to happen last summer, but was delayed due to the pandemic.